In this video, I'm going to be doing my first ever episode recap video of season 5 of the Irish version of Dancing with the Stars. How's it going guys? It's Eric Sharkey, aka Dance with Stars Superfan, back with another video, and today I'm going to be recapping both weeks 1 and 2 because the first week they had 6 dancers, while the second week they had the last 6 dancers, just to keep it separate. As I was preparing to make this video for you guys, I was lucky to come around all the dances that were shown on YouTube. It was great that I got to watch those dances so I can give you guys my opinions about those dances. Also, if you guys like this video, or if you guys are new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below, and smash that like button, and turn on that post notification bell to keep up to date for more videos on my channel. So without further ado, let's get started. First up is Neil and Kylie dancing the passage to I Believe in a Thing Called Love by The Darkness. I'm not gonna lie, that song was an excellent way to kick off that season after taking a year hiatus due to COVID. I felt like Neil hit almost every step good and his shaping was okay, but the judges did notice some problems during the routine. I also found out Queen member Roger Taylor's son, Rufus Tiger Taylor, is the drummer of that band. So Judge Cruzar, Brian a 5, Lorraine a 6, Arthur a 6, giving them a score, 17 out of 30. Next up is Misty and her Venus dancing the American Smooth to Baby Love by the Supremes. The lift that they did was fantastic. I feel like the dance had some great movements in it throughout parts of the dance, but Brian wants the flow to be a little bit better. Other than that, it was a good dance because it takes me back to those days during high school prom when I was in high school. So your scores are Brian a 4, Lorraine a 6, Arthur a 6, giving them a score, 16 out of 30. Next up is Nicholas and Karen dancing the jive to Blinding Lights by The Weeknd. I feel like the timing wasn't perfect during most of the dance and his footwork wasn't that good. But I understand the jive can be a very hard dance. Lastly, as long as he tried his best, that's all that matters. Next week, they might give him a dance that is much easier for him, but we'll see what happens. So just goes are Brian a 3, Lorraine a 4, Arthur a 4, giving them a score, 11 out of 30. Next up is Kathy and Mauricio dancing the cha-cha-cha to How Will I Know by Whitney Houston and Clean Bandit. I like how they added some other moves in that dance and everything, but I noticed they had a little trouble with the lift, she was a little bit stiff at times, and she rushed through the dance a little bit. Other than the other things that she needs to work on that was mentioned by the judges, it was still an okay dance. So just who's are Brian a 4, Lorraine a 5, Arthur a 5, giving them a score, 14 out of 30. Next up is Nina and Pasquale dancing the quick step to Black Horse and a Cherry Tree by KT Tunstall. During the quick step, despite some of the hiccups, she was light on her feet, but Arthur wants her to work on her upper body, and he wants her to relax a bit more. So just who's are Brian a 6, Lorraine a 6, Arthur a 7, giving them a score, 19 out of 30. And last up is Grania and John dancing the waltz to With You on Born Again by Billy Preston and Sarita. Arthur said this reminded him of a scene from an old French movie, and he can tell she really enjoyed it. I did notice there was a little stumble, but at least it had some good flair to it. But overall, I felt like it was an okay routine. So Jules Cousard, Brian a 4, Lorraine a 5, Arthur a 5, giving them a score, 14 out of 30. Now that we got to week 1, let's get into week 2. First up is Angus and Emily dancing the Charleston to Goody Two Shoes by Adam Ant. I felt like during the routine he hit every step which is great, but his timing was a bit off. He needs to work on his element and his energy, but at least they had a fun Charleston. So just who's are Brian a 4, Lorraine a 6, Arthur a 6, giving them a score, 16 out of 30. Next up is Matthew and Laura dancing the Viennese Waltz to Dangerously by Charlie Perth. Arthur wants Matthew to relax a bit more and give it a little bit more energy. Brian wants him to work on his timing and his frame. Even though he had some problems during the routine, in my eyes, it was an A for effort dance though. So just who's are Brian a 3, Lorraine a 5, Arthur a 5, giving them a score, 13 out of 30. Next up is Jordan and Salome dancing the salsa to Take You Dancing by Jason Gerulo. Jason had so much energy throughout the dance. His footwork and everything during the salsa dance was amazing. If Jordan keeps it up, he will go farther in the competition. So just who's are Brian a 7, Lorraine a 7, Arthur an 8, giving them a score, 22 out of 30. This means they got the first 8 of the season. So, great job to Jordan and Salome. Next up is Erica and Denise dancing the samba to Kiss Me Uh Oh by Anne-Marie and Little Mix. This was definitely one of my favorite dances of that night. Erica had amazing hip action, 
an awesome technique into it as well. I noticed Denise had some bad luck during the Ukrainian version of the franchise. His original partner had to withdraw from the show due to an injury, which is understandable, but the good news is he was given a new partner, but the bad news is he was the second eliminated. Now he is given the Ireland version of the franchise a shot and seems to be working out just the way he expected it and he is loving it so far. So the judge scores are, they're all 8s from the judges, giving them a score 24 out of 30. The both of them would also make Dance with the Stars history by getting all 8s during the premiere, but on their version of the franchise. So great job to both Erica and Denise. Next up is Billy and Hannah dancing the Foxtrot to Always Look on the Bright Side of Life by Monty Python. I feel like his steps were kind of small, his frame was off, however, they did bring in some fun moments during that routine. So that's some good news. I felt like I was watching them on Broadway. So Judge Scores are Brian a 5, Lorraine a 5, Arthur a 6, giving them a score 16 out of 30. And last up is Ellen and Steven dancing the tango to Golden by Harry Styles. I was amazed on how well Ellen danced even with one arm. It had so much tango content to it and Ellen definitely beat all the odds. Even though Lorraine wanted some slower moments in that routine, she still loved it as well as the other two judges. So just scores are, they were all 7s from the judges, giving them a score 21 out of 30. Now let's take a look at the leaderboard from both weeks. At the top leaderboard are Erica and Denise with 24 points, Jordan and Salome with 22 points, Ellen and Steven with 21 points, Nina and Pasquale with 19 points, Neil and Kylie with 17 points, a three-way tie with 16 points are Angus and Emily, Billy and Hannah, and Missy and her Venus. A two-way tie with 14 points are Kathy and Mauricio, and Grania and John. Matthew and Laura with 13 points, and at the bottom are Nicholas and Karen with 11 points. So the best dances of that night during week two were Erica Cody and Jordan Conroy. And the surprise of that night is indeed Alan Keane, while the surprise during week one was Nina Carberry. Just so you guys know, I try my best to put in as much info as I can, just because I live in the USA, I don't have any access to any of the videos, but luckily I came across all of them, so it turned out a little better than I expected. There were also performances from both Kylie and Steven Vincent, and last season's champion Lottie Ryan and Pasquale LaRocca, as they performed a salsa to the theme from Dora the Explorer. And lastly, just to give you guys a heads up, I'm not going to be recapping every single episode for their series because my main focus is the USA version of the franchise, or if something changes, I'll think about it. But I'll promise you guys I'll do a final results video when the season wraps up. So what was your favorite dance in one of those nights? Who do you think will be in the finals this season? And who do you think has the odds of winning this season? Just give me your thoughts and opinions in the comments down below. So anyways, That'll do it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Eric Sharkey, aka Dance with a Star Superfan. Catch you next time.